hey, um, an interesting thing that I noticed and I'd like to make an observation about is, um, in my own experience of being on a spiritual path, I'm experiencing, uh, experiencing the unfolding of myself within a spiritual path and progression, um, my previous experiences within a spiritual path were very much, um, um, oriented in the way of, or were very much, those experiences were very much defined by me, uh, within this experience of a spiritual path, experiencing myself within a greater design and order, which I was perceiving elements of in my experience of myself in this world, in my life, and which I was kind of interacting with. Um, and the me within that context of a spiritual journey and path and unfolding and ascension process was very much about me trusting and having faith in this design which I was experiencing myself within. I would liken it to, and I, I, I uh, this is how I, I've described it to myself before, uh, the experience of that, of me within this greater design, greater order, experiencing myself in a spiritual journey, opening, awakening, path, progression, ascension, is like, was like me climbing a waterfall, up a vertical waterfall, and being constantly bombarded with the water or experiences of my life as they were happening to me, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, the lights and darks, the denser and the finer experiences of myself was like water rushing down over me as I'm struggling up this waterfall. And then the faith in that process, that progression, that ascension process felt like a rope that was attached somewhere up there um, that was just sort of kind of built into my hands. It felt like this, just like a rope of faith. I had faith in me in this process, me in this design. Um, that was my faith so that, and that was my trust. It was this rope of trust, rope of faith as I climbed up this waterfall and experienced the bombardment of the water of the experiences of this process of ascension, spiritual awakening, opening, progression, um, <clears throat> expanding into my greater self, learning lessons, all of these, the water rushing down on me was like where it was, you know, we, on the spiritual path, we perceive that we're learning these lessons and sorting out our karma and whatever through our relationships with people and our relation and our experiences with ourselves in this world within this ascension process, spiritual progression path experience. And so that faith in the greater source of this journey, that rope of faith, that rope of trust is that was the trust, the, the trust and faith in this order that I was not able to comprehend. I just experienced myself within this order and design um, in which my spiritual progression and ascension process was taking place. Um, 
So, and that's interesting because many of us ex are experiencing, have awakened, have had a spiritual awakening and are experiencing ourselves on a spiritual path. Like what I've just described, that was my experience anyway. That's how I would describe my, what my experience was. And the interesting thing that I've noticed is that that was not that experience of trust and faith in this this design, this this plan, this order, this divine plan, cosmic plan, which I was not able to comprehend fully was not me living that trust and faith in me, being able to stand alone as that trust, as that faith, as I walk in this world, as I experience myself in this world. It was me having faith in this greater design that I was not able to comprehend fully, um, that rope of faith. and. So that went, that experience went on for a while, but there was always something, kind of something wrong about that experience. I would, because I, again, I would go experience the highs and the lows, this fluctuation, where uh, it's described a lot in, in, in writings about uh, the ascension process, that there's backsliding involved. You, you get up to a certain level, and, oh, it's the natural progression for you to backslide and then forward and then backslide, forward and then backslide, you know, from the higher and down to the lower as you are doing this ascension progression journey path. And what I've realized is that so what was my motivation for that? It, it, you know, the whole time throughout that experience, it's like me perceiving that I'm on the way to becoming the embodiment of a fuller, greater, more pure, higher experience and reality of myself down the line. Whereas in this moment, I'm, exp I'm on this path, on this progression, experiencing my ascension through which I will gain a greater embodiment of my greater, higher, more than who I am right now, self, apparently. That's the perception. And that is what all of the literature, the images, the spiritual experiences that, that we manifest encourage us to remain in, is that state of always going towards, working towards, ascending towards myself in some higher experience, greater experience than what I'm experiencing right now here in this moment. And the interesting thing I notice, that I have noticed in self-realization is that If the opportunity presents itself to, if, if something presents itself, some, some experience, some information that kind of maybe challenges that experience of ascension and spiritual path and progression, which is what happened to me in my experience, the question arose, although I, I articulate this question to myself now, but um, I wouldn't, don't, wouldn't, I don't think I would have articulated this question like I'm about to when I was on this path in that moment. Um, but the interesting question that arises is, am I willing to, I'm going to pause here while the, uh, 